This is how you can get a dual color print on your Ender 3 S1 Pro. And I'll be printing one of these Zodiac sign keychains from the 3D Print Farming Patreon. So first, get your STL file and then open Cura Slicer. Import your STL file and then slice it. Now you're going to switch over to the preview tab and use this bar on the right side of the screen to figure out where the layer starts. And for me, it's going to be layer 13. So now I'm going to go up here into extensions, post processing and modify G code. I'm going to add a script for pause at height and I'll enter the layer number I just got into the pause layer box. I'm going to switch this to BQM5 because it allegedly works better than the Marlin M0. I'm going to check the park print box and enter zero in for X and Y. And then adjust your standby temperature to whatever temperature you're printing at. I also added an M300 command that's supposed to play a beeping noise, but this firmware is buggy and it didn't seem to work for me. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. So anyways, I'm going to take my filament, load it up, and get this print started. This is a fast print, so about 10 minutes later, we are ready to swap to the next color. Now that I have the second color loaded up, we can resume the print. Well... Not exactly. Okay, so here's when you're gonna run into a bug. The filament's changed, but the Ender 3 S1 Pro has no option to resume. There's only pause and stop, and you can't continue the print. If you're using older S1 Pro firmware, the way around this bug is to act like you're gonna pause it, hit X, and then that will turn into a resume button. But I'm using the latest firmware for the S1 Pro, and the only way I know around this bug is to click up here to the parameter settings, go back, and now you will have the resume button. So we can continue and that's how you do it. I have no idea why this bug exists and why it still exists, but it does and that's how you work around it. So now that we got the print resumed, we're gonna finish up with the second color and now we're all finished. And that's how you can get a two color print on an Ender 3 S1 Pro and bypass the bug that still hasn't been fixed for some reason. Hopefully this helped you and thanks for watching.